Okay. As I was saying, I have no loads because this is a new version of it. We played the prologue, which was not the full game. Now this is the full game. Hopefully it's not gonna break. Yeah, sound alerts have been fixed. They just weren't- the so the source wasn't on the screen. It's fine. Absolutely nothing happened before. We are starting this for realsy this time. There we go. Alright. And my mouse has turned into the tiny mouse. You could barely fucking see it. I could- I couldn't see it before. The wind clawed at my window all night long. Oh, it actually- it's good cha- it's changing. Okay, good. It wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast. An endless song weaved from all sorts of voices. Shrill, gentle, sneery, twined in the air. They were shouting and laughing. And arguing about something. Someone was running through the snow while casting long shadows that would occasionally creep close to my bed. Our house had a mind of its own. The creaky old mind of a building that had seen a lot of it in its days, and was seemingly trying to share its wisdom with the inhabitants. The lonely house faced the forest, and the dark green thicket gazed back with its hollow eyes, rustling, whizzing, swaying back and forth. One could come out and stand at the edge of the forest to reassure themselves. There was nobody behind the crooked trees. I would never trust that. Fuzzy silhouettes swayed in the wind. It couldn't possibly do it any harm. It's just a play of light and shadow. Or is it? Just a play. I knew it was just my imagination. I was already 12 after all. Still. Episode 1, The Owl Will Arrive. I don't know how many episodes there are. I think it's five, and I think they're all out currently. Do I click? Oh, I click. I'm like, I'm hearing the sound. I'm like, is this gonna... Oh, look at us! Ubiri, knigu, niemiedlina. No, oh, oh, it's voice. I, um... I wasn't expecting voice acting. Um... Hey, put away your book. No. Сколько раз говорила, не читай за столом. Вредно. Сидишь, сутулился весь. Should I reread what she says? Since it's not in English. <laughs> That's up to you. That's up to you guys. But, uh, yeah, she, uh, <laughs> there wasn't voice acting before. How many times have I told you not to read at the table? It's bad for your health. Look at how slouched you are. Oh. Hide. See, I hid it. I didn't protest and put the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. I was stuck on a line I couldn't understand after reading it three times anyway. How do you say that? Olya? Olya? Olya had already finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic she only looks look like your typical girl from commercials. She's very cute. You're not going anywhere until you finish all of it. I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes, as if it would make the porridge disappear. Hazy anxiousness welled up inside, all because of the previous sleepless night, the black forest around our house, and the gloomy wind. The longer I waited, the colder my lumpy white substance became. <laughs> it looked like a jellyfish from the... Uh, I don't know. Us two? Odyssey? I love that show. I wonder how horrifying the bottom of the ocean is. Oh, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, I'm gonna raise... 
the volume of the game up just a little bit. It's so fucking quiet in my ear. There you go. You guys might get blasted out when something happens, though. But for now, it's quiet. It's, it's okay. How cold a black forest is at night. Oopsie! The spoon fell out of my hand. Mom showered me with a cold glare from her green eyes. What did I just say? Oh, he has voice too. I'll get it. I had 10 seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty porridge once again. I felt around for the spoon. What's this? Carved on the other side of the table. Karina. Ha, that's my mom's name. I guess she carved out with something pointy when she was little. She sure was a rascal, damaging the furniture like that. She would scold me for a week if I did something similar, though. Should I remind her about it? No, she's been a bit of a bad mood lately. I could tell that. She looks... really upset. I imagine her being my age, sitting under this table. I wonder, was mom afraid of the dark back then? Were the sounds coming from the attic? Oh, there's sounds coming from the attic, you say? With the thick forest? Dude, the forest is fucking terrifying. Oh my god. I imagined my grandmother coming into my little mom's room, sitting at the edge of her bed where Olya sleeps nowadays, and saying this in her soft, soothing voice. Taiga is a special place, little girl. Why does it seem so fucking quiet? I'm gonna put that at max volume. I'm sure that's not gonna. I'm sure that won't come back to bite me. It's watching you closely, sniffing you out. Trying to discern what kind of beast you are. How's the game audio for you guys? Is it quiet still? Because it's maxed right now. If you're a good sort. Won't abandon you in times of trouble. А будешь проказничать, схватит за бачок. But if you're a собой под землю, it'll grab you by the side and drag you under the ground. Тут и дело с концом. And that would be it. Grandma was caring. She never fought with anybody. Never yell. Never yelled. Never swore. Those were the times without the maddening screams until late at night. Without smashed dishes and mutual accusations. Our parents used to love each other back then. Ugh. I remember listening in on one of their conversations by chance. We were talking about Grandma getting prepared for her funeral. She had already bought a casket. That's a bit, that's a bit wild to do that. To just buy a casket before you died. Save. I don't have to do that all again just in case. Oh my god, I'm on page 9. Why am I on page 9? I mean, I guess I left it on page 9, so that was kind of my bad. There we go. There we go. She called it her cute funeral box. <laughs> Grandma's a fucking badass and terrifying. It's waited for its time in the closet, patiently. You bought, you bought a you bought a coffin and just fucking kept it in the closet and be like, haha, one day. Like, every day you saw it? Chill. Chill, Grandma, what are you doing? <laughs> it was black, upholstered with meat-colored material on the inside. I saw it when my grandma was getting buried. The house didn't change since the time she was alive. Only all of the photos were gone. Glass-covered pictures of gray faces of my ancestor. 
They all had a dead but watchful look on their eyes. I crawled out from under the table. Olya was done with her cookies and was looking at my share like a sly woodland critter. I turned my gaze towards the frosted window. I wonder what Olya sounds like. Like I said, none of them had voice actors when we first started this. There's a lot of dark pines outside. They didn't grab my attention. A pattern of frost formed a picture on the glass. Oh, it does look like a widow fox. You see it right there. Little ear, the nose, the mouth, the eyes. Very cute. Oh, there she is. Where? Gnomes look like those optical illusion thingies they put on the back of student notebooks. A mixture of lines at first glance, but if you blur your vision a little bit and look under a certain angle. It's on the window. Look, here's its nose, and here's. Yeah, Mama made it. Yes, yes, just a moment. Я ничего не вижу. Oh, I don't see anything. Живо. Совсем немного осталось. Hurry up. There's not much left. А, вот. Но все равно не похоже. Ah, there it is. But it still doesn't look like one. А я говорю, похоже. And I'm telling you it does. Не. Не. А. Похоже. It does. Прекратите. Ну что за дети? Stop it. These kids, I swear. Oh, now I couldn't see the fox either. Where did it go? Where did the fox go? It disappeared. Went away. Only the frosty pattern similar to stretch out nettle leaves kept creeping up the glass. Well, that must be what those weird little, like, eyelash looking things are. My dad entered the kitchen with long, measured steps. I want to have a beard like his when I grow up. That does look like an excellent beard over here. My mom would always ask jokingly, Come on, shave it off, it stings. This was so long ago. Nowadays, rumbling doors and witty comebacks were an everyday occurrence. Olya always covered her ears whenever she hears something like, What's the point in all this? Through the walls. It's all for your sake, Dad would reply. For the sake of our family. I always caught every sound in fear of hearing the most dreaded and deadly word that started with a D. <gasps> Divorce. How was my day? My day was pretty good. Didn't do much today. I go back to work tomorrow, so... It's mostly just getting stuff together for that. T I V O. I don't even want to spell it. I don't even want to finish it. It was scary to imagine that me and my little sister could be torn apart and taken into two different families. Anyway, your fox is nothing. I have an owl on my window. You and your owl talk again. You said you believed me yesterday. Никто ключи от машины не видел? Has anyone seen my car keys? Вроде оставлял на подоконнике. I remember leaving them on the window so. Вроде. Right. Вроде оставлял. Вроде maybe нет. you did, and maybe not. What an interesting response to that. Вроде взрослый мужчина, отец двоих детей, а вроде... You're a grown man, a father of two, and still... Перестань, пожалуйста, Карина. Карина, please stop. Дай мне спокойно собраться. Just let me get ready in peace. В корзине твои ключи, возле телефона. The keys are in the basket, near the phone. Огромное тебе человеческое спасибо. Well, thank you very much. Антон, ешь быстрее, а то как мученик сидишь. Anton, start making a martyr out of yourself and finish eating already. Sava? But the owl! Не было там никакой совы. There was no owl. Была! But there was one. Глазюки огромные! Во! И светятся! 
It had giant glowing eyes. Olya sprung up from her chair and placed her hands on her little face, imitating a pair of eyes with her fingers the size of an apple each. Прошлом году бабай в шкафу, сейчас сова. Fucking what is that? Last year you had bye-bye in your closet, and now this owl? What is this? Glossary. Oh, I get a glossary. Okay. Bye-bye. In Slavic folklore, a nocturnal spirit used by parents to threaten their ill-behaving children. Okay. But, but I saw it. Oh, yes, such her gaze back and forth from dad to mom, but couldn't find any support. А ты не думала подружиться с ней, нет? Have you thought about befriending it? Вымышленными мышами покормить, например. You know, like feeding it with imaginary mice? Не подначивай ребенка. Don't bully our girl. Просто мала еще. И спать одна боится. She's just afraid to sleep alone because she's still little. Olya powdered her lips in rebellion and rushed into the hallway. The staircase that led to the second floor creaked. Mom gave Dad a strict look. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a... She is angry over there. Oh, that look in her eyes. It's so uncomfortable to be pinned under it. Absolutely. Mom is scary over here. <laughs> Dad just snorted in reply and left, ringing with the keys he just found. A minute had passed, and the theme song from The Little Mermaid echoed through the house. We can't play it for copyright reasons, of course. But just to assure us, it's, uh, just to assure you, it's there. It was stored on an incredibly worn-out cassette tape, which Dad already had to glue together once. It's so easy to fix objects, by gluing them back together, for example. But how do you fix a relationship? Sometimes you can't. Mom moved to the living room, and I was left alone, anxiously stealing glances at the window. Oh! Oh, yeah, I had trouble sleeping ever since we moved to this house. I wonder how long ago that was. She would toss and turn or curl up into a ball in her bed. Yo. This is loud in my ear. This is very loud in my ear. <laughs> Sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the VCR. Cartoons helped to take her mind off of all the troubles we had with the move and our parents. Ooh, motherfucker, what was that? Whoa! <laughs> Ho! I'd be terrified if that was outside my window too! What the fuck? Oh, you said that she saw a giant flying monster outside her window. Yeah, that certainly didn't look quite right. <laughs> She became obsessed with it. Her parents did everything in their power. They tried every little trick to get rid of those ridiculous fears. Yeah, that um, that don't, that don't look too great over there. Oh, yeah, refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her nightmares. After last night, I wasn't sure what to make of my sister's words. What to think of it myself? Can nightmares be infectious? That night I couldn't get a wink of sleep, and ended up thinking of what to expect from my new school. There were a couple days left before the beginning of the new term. My imagination drew long, twisting hallways that led to a classroom full of kids. But all the students behind their desks were simply dark figures, cut out using a template. Circular holes gaping in the middle of their faces, and pairs of eyes blinked inside those holes. It was as if some completely different creatures were looking at me from behind the flat, black silhouettes. Their cruel glares, filled with icy sneers, made me shiver from head to toe. Will I survive here? Will they gang up on me and beat me down? Stop me with their bloodied shoes? What kind of fucking school are you going to? Damn school can burn for all I care. Yes, arson. We always appreciate arson. I just wished for anything to happen to it. it. Doesn't really matter what. I didn't want to go there that badly. I didn't want to see people who are just itching to smack me on the head, trip me up, think of a new offensive name for me. Worse than the previous one. But like the glasses I wore made me an outsider of some s or some sort of monster. My gaze slid across the drawings hanging on the wall. That 
couldn't consider myself a great artist. But oh, you begged me to hang them up. Drawing was the only thing that made me happy as of late. I don't like this sound. I don't like this ambiance. Small circle of friends I had also enjoyed my paintings. And they promised to call me from time to time. Sometimes I imagine mom picking up the phone and saying in a cold voice, You got the wrong number. Or Anton is not around. Anton is not around. I imagine my future classmates lying in their beds, just like me, listening to the howls of invisible werewolves outside their window. Maybe my new classmates will like me after all. But who would ever like a boy with thick glasses? I mean, they're just glasses, dude. You just need them to see. I mean... My dad used to wear glasses when he was little, and now he's married to the most beautiful woman on the planet. My mom. How cute. Your mom is pretty hot, though. The house creaked, pressed by the wind. The condo we used to live in, a nine-floor concrete building, buzzed with the neighbor's drill, mumbled with TV set from behind the wall, cries like a baby from the, the big family next door. Our current house... No, I can't really call it new. It's completely different. It was silent and easygoing during the day. Its shadows lay dormant in the corners, on the closet, cobwebs, and under the stairs. But they all woke up during the night. Something was watching me from every corner, almost as if the old photos of my deceased family, with their ashen eyes, were hanging on the wall in place of my drawings. I fucking hope not. the help oh my god ah! looks like my discord broke like it's not loading anything that's not good yeah, I'm just gonna close it there you go. problem solved The floor was squeaking, rusty drains were moaning, the attic was occupied by noisy drafts. One could think the house was before some sort of demonic melody. And then I realized I was in fact hearing music. I was already playing for a good while. Oh? Somewhere at the edge of my perception, I could hear a flute. I didn't even notice when that started playing. It was mixed with the sound of the wind of the creaking old house, and my thoughts, too. I stood up and rushed to the window. I wanted to reassure myself that this music was nothing more than a production of my imagination. It's not like someone is playing in there. I miss the cold, shadowy, snowy night, right? Oh? Ooh, ooh. I don't know if I want to... I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to stay right here. Ah, oh, fuck me. I guess I gotta go do that. Oh, oh it's so bright. Ooh. Yo, there's a fucking party going on over there. I love the art style of this game. It's so... It's so nice. Someone was dancing in the field. Black silhouettes I could barely make out with a dark forest as their backdrop. They jumped around, basked in moonlight, bumped into piles of snow and rolled around and crawled on all fours. Stories about wolves playing under the moon came to mind. These were clearly not wolves. They stood upright at times, circled around, holding hands and whipping up snow, disappearing into the shadows for a brief moment and then coming back. Something bizarre was going on. And I don't think I'm supposed to be looking at it. Chat, we might be in trouble. Shadows dancing in the starless abyss made my imagination go wild. It can be anxious at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh they know. Oh, Chat, they know. Suddenly the music stopped. The dancing shadows froze in place and I could swear pierced me with their eyes. One of the silhouettes immediately parted from the bizarre shadow carnival and sprinted across the field with giant leaps. 
Oh, I did. No, 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 that's at me. That's at me. Um, he glided on squeaky snow without leaving any prints until it was devoured by the pitch black shadow of my house, which became even darker and thicker. Oh, no, no, no. My heart was jumping around like a bird inside a cage. Oh, I shut the curtains with a swift motion and stepped back towards the bed. They saw me. A freezing torrent of fear washed over me. I stood in the middle of a perfectly dark room and listened to some unwanted guests move and scrape around, looking for an entrance. Oh my fucking god. Hi, Yuzu! Yuzu, it's scary! Yes, <laughs> Yuzu, the, 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 the creepy things are coming for me. The creepy things in the woods. Oh no. Oh no. As I moved to the right, it circled around the house. <sighs> There's so much ambiance. It's so this game is so good, but I'm already so freaked out. How are you doing? I hope tick, you're doing good. Tick, tick. Rise and shine. Wakey, wakey! Time it's time to die. <laughs> wakey, wakey! You have seen something you're not supposed to. Oh my god! The music in this game is horrifying. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get spooked. Although, to, to full disclaimer, this is part that I played in the prologue, so I absolutely have some idea of what's going to go down. There are obvious things that are different, but like, spotting mythical creatures having a party in the woods and them not liking it, that's- uh, I've seen that before. But uh, that doesn't mean things are going to be different. Now my guest should be at the front door. I jumped into bed and covered myself with a blanket as if I could- as if it could protect me. The chakras of fear locked my muscles. <laughs> just- just waiting on the jump scare. There's probably going to be a bunch of them in this game. Hmm. I'm not above a jump scare. Every now and then, just as long as it's not the whole game. And that's all they do. I remembered the funeral. My grandmother lying there. Hands crossed on her chest. Motherfucker, Mass, I bet you did that. It doesn't say, but I bet you did that, Mass. <laughs> Fucking terrified the shit out of me just now. You are so lucky it doesn't snitch you out. <laughs> Man, that'd be. It was in my nose. Horrifying. Yeah. Uh. See, that's what that's what's perfect for this kind of game. Just every now and then, just that. Uh. Thank you for the gunshot mess. I think I need to make those alerts louder because that wasn't very loud. Let me just go to sound alerts and up that. There we go. And it's running up and down the legs of the chairs that held my grandma's casket. Yo, you put her casket on the chairs? That's, that's weird. I imagine those little critters climbing up her head and pulling her eyelids with their tiny legs. Why did you imagine this? What kind of shit are you imagining? And her wrinkly eyeballs would once again move inside their sockets and she'd be able to see her grandchildren. I was chanting the spell she taught me through the whole procedure. Now, lying under the blanket and listening to the squeaks and howls, I was repeating the same words. See, there's voice acting now. There wasn't before. On the island of Bullion, underneath the blemish sun, in the sea of, the co of color blue, stands a cabin made of wood. There lay lard and ashen hair for the spawn of Devil's Lair to feast and always leave alone. God's faithful servant named Anton. Yes, Grandma, teach him witchcraft. Evil, leave this house, must. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh, oh, it's me. Look at that. This is- this is the who we're playing! Oh, he's adorable! Look at that! Well, he's- he's terrified right now, but- but- uh, but other than that, he's pretty cute. 
Look at us. We're, we are an adorable little boy. Bizarre sounds had disappeared. Uh, <laughs> there was no sir. What do you mean there was no notification? There was no stream notification in Discord? Oh no. Did it not? Oh my god, it didn't. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, uh, that's why. That's why. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. But don't worry, <laughs> nothing new has really happened yet. This is still the same stuff from before. Let me just quickly tell everyone. Uh, apparently my bot broke. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's very weird. You also slept through your alarms, but that's irrelevant. It's fine. Yeah, this is nothing new. Don't worry, you're happy. But uh, we got spotted by the mystical creatures uh, in the woods while they were having a party. They didn't like that. So now they're coming to here, and this is the little boy that we're playing. He's very cute. I cautiously peeked out from under the blanket and saw curtains waving around like a hanged man. Oh, what kind of hangman fucking flops around? How do you know that? How do you know a hangman just flops around? And then, the night doused me with a new portion of boiling terror. Sound scratched in my eardrums. Oh my god. <laughs> in reality, something or someone were scratching at the front door. Hurriedly clawing at wood, demanding to be let in. The door was shut. I had become cautious recently, so he installed a sturdy lock. I remember him staring at the forest intently, as if he was looking for someone. There's also voice acting now. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. I hugged my knees, placing my chin between them, and drilled the door with my eyes. It was so flimsy and weak before the might of darkness. And then... And then what? No, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Please leave. Turn up Twitch slightly. Woo! Turned halfway once, twice, as if the person who tried to enter had no hands. Oh, geez, this is why you, uh, you should have a door and a lock on your room. I say as if this were my room, and I, I spotted them, they would be able to just come right in and kill me because I have no door. Which is, uh, not good. Ooh, the door not tilted once more, and then... Started clicking violently. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Actually, you can, you can go away now. I'm not interested. Really not interested. Ooh, my jaw cramped from fear. My fingers, my wet fingers clutched the blanket. Ooh, no! The door creaked and opened. Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh fuck! The wind taunted me, moaning inside the tin drains. Now, now you'll see. No, no, thank you, no, thank you. The door was wide open. <laughs> this is surprisingly nice story time. Yeah, it's a good time, it's a good time. The darkness wreathed inside the carnivorous mouth of a doorway. To? Osha? It was as if the night itself was calling out to me, flapping its black wings and squeaking with rusty hinges. I was trembling. It snared by the web of darkness that hung in the corners of my room, waiting for the one who weaved it to come out of the gaping black hole. <laughs> to Tony? Oh, right, his name is Anton. I guess Tony would be a good nickname. My abdomen tightened and my chest rose up, ready to exhale a desperate scream. Before I was able to do anything, the darkness asked me. Dicks! Oh, it asked me about dicks? Oh, no! Thanks. <laughs> I don't know how to feel if a shadow has to be about dicks. <laughs> I would be very concerned. <laughs> Thanks, Anonymous. 
<laughs> Tosha, you asleep? Oh, oh, it's my little sister. Why the fuck did you open the door like that? You were so terrifying. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? My sister's pale face protruded from the thick shadows. I almost screamed from relief. Оля, я я не сплю. Что случилось? Oh yeah, I I'm not sleeping. Did something happen? I might have fat figured it out. <laughs> oh god, what timing? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, shut up, Pigsby. No one asked you. Olya frowned and stuck out her lower lip. A clear sign that she was about to cry. <laughs> Alright, she has a spooky owl friend outside of her window. <laughs> I use the term friend very loosely. It's there again, staring at me. <laughs> Shoo her away, Tosha, please. You took my you. Oh, she's so scared. Oh, she's so scared she's shaking. I thought... I, I almost didn't recognize her. Over here playing Rocket League and hearing random horror music. It's fun. <laughs> the fear that was tormenting me just a minute ago crawled away and hid somewhere in my stomach. I needed to calm all you down. It was a dream. Don't be scared. It was just a dream, silly. Don't be scared. Dreams don't bite. No one's going to harm you. Olya sobbed. She was trying her best to believe me. Whatever you do, don't go outside. I may have pissed off a spirit, but that's none of your concern. But I was... But was I sure myself? I have an idea. Oh. Let's go to your room and watch the video Sleeping Beauty, for example. You like that cartoon, don't you? <laughs> Why does the Sleeping Beauty have a prince and I have the scary bird? Who's your bird friend? That question took me by surprise. I mean... Well, you're a child, so, you know... I wouldn't- I wouldn't assign a prince to you, but I also wouldn't assign a terrifying owl to be stalking you uh, through your window, either. Perhaps you should put blankets on the windows. Because it seems your curtains are not enough to keep this thing from looking at you. Alright, let's watch Cinderella. My thoughts became tangled. Fuzzy. What was that? What studied me with its eyes while dancing feverishly under the moon? The darkness was clinging to the window, and it couldn't be fooled by Grandma's old chants. Couldn't be satisfied with a feast of lard and long ashen hair. Tosha, did you Did she just did she just leave without me? Sister, don't leave without me! Don't leave without me! Da, da, сейчас. Yeah, yeah, just uh, take, just a moment, just take, a moment. Take. Ah! But oh, I'm getting eaten! Hi, man! You, you said wakey, wakey, time to die! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's why I didn't want to laugh at Olya and her owl in the morning. Jesus Christ. Thanks, guys. Oh, shit. Oh. Fun time, fun time, guys. This is great. This is great. Who could be visiting us here in the middle of nowhere? It's fine. Everything's fine. It's not here anymore, guys. It's, it's gone. They're gone. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we don't know anyone around here. Why the fuck are you ringing the doorbell? So annoying. <laughs> you nailed that timing without knowing. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, crab rave. We need a crab rave to calm down. Thank you for the crab rave, maybe. Everything's fine. I swear everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, you nailed that timing. Holy shit. 
Yeah, whoever's ringing this doorbell is very persistent. We just got jump scared by a very spooky wolf thing. And it ate me, apparently. Ooh, terrified. Felt extremely unsettled just from a silly thought that our morning guests could have come from the woods. I could barely hear voices coming from the front door. My mind was urging me to hide. In the closet? Under the table? Behind the curtains where Ollie always hides? Tosha! Oh, Tosha! Come here! I felt like kettlebells were tied to my feet, but still dragged them towards the hallway. Oh. A couple of policemen towered over me in the doorway. They smelled like frost and worry. What does worry smell like? My mom always winced and grumbled the moment she saw patrol cars. Worse than bandits. Oh, well, that, do that doesn't speak very well for your justice system, now does it? At the moment, though, she looked somewhat confused. Hello. Senior officer wore a grim expression, nodded. A boy had gone missing yesterday. His name is Volva. Look at this, please. Have you seen him? The policeman held out a photograph to me. Oh. God, I love the art style of this game. Oh, what a nice picture. And you got a little cat brain. This is nice. This is cute. <laughs> There's a ginger boy around the age of elementary school, pictured with a wall carpet as the backdrop. Is that what that is? He had a striped cat in his hands and wore a smile, a wide smile. He does. He's very cute. Yet. No, we definitely didn't see him. We only saw a horrifying nightmare demon. Um, just, but not this guy. Don't worry about the other stuff. Точно. Посмотри внимательнее. Are you sure? Look closely. Где мне его видеть? Я тут никого не знаю. Да из дома то почти не выхожу. Where would I see him? I don't know anyone around here. I barely leave the house. А может, видел в окно? Well, maybe you've seen him from the window. Да, у тебя ведь окна на лес. That's right. Your windows look straight at the forest, don't they? Oh, no, 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 there's nothing in there. Don't worry about that, Just don't worry about that. The window. Нет, не видел. Nope, I haven't seen nothing. I haven't seen nothing. Have you seen the boy? We believe he is making theft of a cat belonging to the... <laughs> oh. Proletariat. Oh, I can't even read that. That's a little too far away. Hang on, I gotta make the chat bigger. Eh. I have no idea what that is. Is that, is that a Russian official? I have no idea. I don't know who that is. Yes, no. He's wanted for cat thievery. I see. He sounds tired, but his eyes... Yeah. His stare, long and heavy, was full of suspicion. What, you think I- You think I stole him? And the cat? Never. I squirmed unwittingly under the weight of guilt, which is a giant shadow cast over me. The policeman finally tore his eyes from me and glanced over the hallway and stairway and the cracks in the ceiling. I haven't noticed before for some reason. How do you like your new place, by the way? Getting used to it? Bit by bit. It's just our little daughter misses the city a lot. I would too if I come here and it's fucking cursed as all shit. Скучает, значит. Из местных вас никто не беспокоит. This is the city, huh? Had the locals been treating you well? Все хорошо, спасибо. Yes, everything is alright, thank you. But yeah, I love the art style of this game. It's so nice. Police said pierced through me one more time with his brown eyes. My head started spinning. Может вам помочь как-то? Um, can I help you somehow? 
I asked that in a shaky voice to look like a polite boy and to end this unpleasant conversation sooner. If you wanted to end this unpleasant conversation, why would you ask something that would prompt more conversation? How did I think about it? You look just like one of my nephews, little fella. Шустрый парнишка твоих лет. С такими же окулярами. Все книжками зачитывался. He's a witty boy. Around your age. Wears the same type of goggles. Ha <laughs> ha. Always engrossed in reading those mystery novels. Когда летом погостить приезжал. Говорит, что в школу милиции мечтает поступить. Told me he wants to enroll in police school when his family visited this summer. Как я. Хотел людям помогать. Смекаешь? Wanted to help other people. Just like me, you see? I felt uncomfortable. As if a distant relative and not a police officer stood before me. Oh, ребятушки. You know what? Сидите-ка вы лучше дома. Не вязывайтесь ни во что. Жизнь сейчас совсем другая пошла. Little boys like you should stay at home. Steer away from trouble. Times have changed so much. Mom interjected in a cold voice. Мне ли не знать? You don't say. Ну да ладно. Ah, well then. Ты, Антон, в каком классе учишься? Why is this conversation going on so much longer? What grade are you in, Anton? В шестом. Sixth grade. Right, he's, he is 12. We would, we established this. Друзей ты на новом месте еще не завел? Have you made any friends here so far? Пока нет. Я только после каникул в школу пойду. Not yet. I'll be going to school for the first time after the break. Тогда вот вам на всякий случай мой номер. Звоните, если... если узнаете что. Then I'll leave you my number just in case. Call me if you have any new info. The policemen were gone along with their shadows. The smell of cheap cologne and the photo of a smiling boy. His face still stood before my eyes. I wondered what it was like for him being all alone there. For some reason I thought of the forest swaying in the wind. Did poor, what did his poor parents feel? Not good. Not good, guys. Not good. That's my mom in the corner. She is very beautiful. But also very angry. What would my parents do if I'd gone missing? Would they cry and thrash around hysterically? Would they accuse each other like they always do? And forget about me, eventually. Mom. А Вова этот в нашем лесу заблудился? Мам, this Вова, did he go missing in our forest? Выходит, что так. Бедный ребенок. Seems like it. Poor child. When I looked out the window at the road. Oh, she did that look spoopy. The plief. Uza drove off towards the village. Isn't that their, like, SUV? Is that, like, an SUV kind of thing? I also have a glossary. Uh, Soviet Russian off-road freight passenger car. Oh, okay. Things have gone missing in the forest. Very spooky. I hope that wolf man didn't get him. Officer's nephew came to mind when I was spinning off old paint from the windowsill. I remembered all the teenage mystery novels from the Black Kitty series. So many glossary items. A series of contemporary Russian original or translated teen mystery books. Okay. Your average boys and girls investigated all sorts of mysteries there. I don't want to investigate this mystery. I don't want to go in the forest. I don't want to do that. I looked for clues, spied on suspicious people. And after a set of amazing adventures, BAM! Solved any complicated case. They became local celebrities and must have made their parents very proud. There was a trail of policemen's footprints that led to the forest. And then it clicked in my head. Why don't I start an investigation of my own? No. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> maybe I'll find the lost boy. Or maybe... I'll just add to their problems by becoming a lost boy myself. And then I'll get a reward. Pfft, you won't get a reward. Oh yeah, we'll be so happy. I don't really- oh yeah. Mom and dad too. 
Maybe they'll even forget about their quarrels for a while. Maybe I'll even save us from the D word. I fantasized about buying Oya. Tamagotchi! Oh my god. What fucking year is this? And getting a cassette player and a bunch of tapes for myself. Yo, Tamagotchis were the shit. What the hell? Did Bonk- did it play? Did it not play? I didn't hear it. What the fuck? Sound alerts? Are you broken? Did you break? No, Play-Doh is just very quiet. It's always quiet? Really? It's always quiet. I might- I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to redo that then. I'm gonna have to do what I did with the other sound alerts, which is record them, put them in an editor, uh, blast the audio, make it so much louder, and then re-upload it. So that's gonna be fun. Well, that's fine. I can fix that. It's not like it's something that can't be fixed. It must be after 1991, or Russian children would not be allowed to fantasize about material possessions. <laughs> God damn it. Man, yeah, Tamagotchis were, were a thing. I think maybe this is when they were first coming out, because it's like the biggest thing that, obviously, if you could fantasize about buying something for someone, it would probably be the latest thing. The latest and popular thing. Ugh, and a whole box of Kinder Surprise. Yo, I love those things. It was the last time our parents bought us any toys. Last autumn, I think. My dad lost his job at the time. There's an annoying song about it. There's, why did you underline song? I know what a song is. What? Wait, wait, what? What? It's not what it's- Accountant, a song by an all-female Soviet pop band by the name- Oh my god, what is that? Combination that became widely popular in the early 90s. We are in the early 90s, you gotta be. Kinder surprises were so fucking good. What were those- They had something in the 90s that was like, um- like a, a cho hollow chocolate ball that when you opened it up, there was like more candy inside. And it was like, it's kind of like this like chalky candy that was in it too. It wasn't, it wasn't great. But do you guys remember that shit? I, I had those quite a bit. I had little to no idea what the, what, what was the accountant's job like. They count money. I think the Wonder Balls! Yeah, that thing! Here. I'm just going to max out the sound alerts. Maybe I'll put a gain on that. I'm sure that definitely Looking will come bait. back to bite me. Audio filter. Gain. Oop. Everything broke. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but, like, OBS froze. Uh... Looking for B. Well, I, um... Guys, I can't do it. I can't do anything. OBS froze? <laughs> Hang on. Give me a second. I'll be back. <laughs> it's like, it's frozen. This was a mistake. This is a horrible mistake. Uh, where's my- where's my task manager? I need to- I need to- I need to kill OBS. Where are you hiding? There it is. Alright, 